Hey everyone, uh, Tony here, um, and this is our last post for the ePortfolio, uh, and I'm just going to be talking about uh, some things that helped me succeed in the class. Um, so in the class itself, uh, one thing that helped me the most was uh, just staying on top of all the assignments. There's so many different uh, different types of assignments between the mind tap exercises and the, the cultural presentations and the, the experiences. It, it really helped me to just like every day just go check uh, the mod, uh, like click on the module and just see what's what's listed for that week um, and just work through that. Uh, the professor, she, she posts weekly um, like module four activities and just like Familiarizing myself with what I need to do this week really helped me to stay on top of it. Um, kind of related to that, staying on top of the mind tap exercises specifically. There's like so many of them every week. And I'm not complaining because they did help a lot, but it's just Tuesday, Thursday, and you have a lot to do. Um, so for me, what I did is um, I have an hour lunch break every day at work. So I just brought my laptop and I would do the Spanish homework uh, every day at lunch and uh, I never had to worry about like, oh, do I still have stuff to do or do I not? Um, so that was a big thing that helped me. Uh, another one, preparing for the, the quizzes and tests. Um, I think like with, I'm an online only student so a lot of my classes these days are like open book, open notes and for these, these quizzes and tests it wasn't so you like have to actually study as much as you would um in a in a uh in-person format um which i think is good because then you're not as reliant on you know scribbling down a bunch of notes before you start the test um but in in the module section before the quizzes and tests she actually puts um she makes like quizlets with uh, the vocab and grammar, uh, not so much the grammar, but the vocab from the sections and going through those really helped me a lot. Uh, and then another thing that helped me in the class was, uh, I kind of mentioned it, but uh, setting, setting alarms for the, the lingual meetings and experiences. Um, for me, I, I work full time, so my meetings and experiences always had to be like late at night or on the weekends. Um, and so there was a couple of times I missed them uh, and had to reschedule. So I ended up having to pay for those to do them again. It was just like five dollars, but still setting an alarm or putting it on your calendar um, just to make sure you don't miss those. Uh, those are three things that helped me. Um, some more. I think engaging with classmates. Um, we had a group me and the group me was just good with like reminding everyone, hey, don't forget to do this, don't forget to do that. Um, and uh, something else I think helps as far as like language learning in general and not necessarily for this class is uh, just like continual immersion in whatever language it is. Um, for me, I, I just, I listen to a lot of Spanish music and I actually like it. So it's not like, I don't feel like I'm doing homework or anything. Um, I'm just listening to like enjoy and then just so happen to be practicing, uh, Spanish, learning new words, a lot of slang words, uh, but words nonetheless. Uh, and then also like watching a lot of shows helps, uh, put it on Spanish, uh, Spanish language with English uh, subs or English language with Spanish subs, either way it helps. Um, and those are some of my recommendations. I uh, hope you, I wish you good luck in, in your future Spanish language endeavors. Thanks.